So what we're going to be doing today in the greenhouse is taking out some of the tops of the tomatoes and also removing a lot of the lower leaves so that the tomatoes get a chance to ripen. Now if I'm perfectly honest, it's August now here in the UK and this job should have been done a couple of weeks ago because if you look at these tomato plants now, they're over nine feet tall or 2.7 meters if you're one of my European followers. So one of the main reasons for taking the tops out of these tomatoes is so the plant puts its energy into producing the tomatoes rather than growing as high as it can to reach the sky. So as you see at the top here, there's already some tomato trusses forming and I'm prepared to sacrifice those because I know that we'll have more than enough tomatoes from the rest of the tomato vines that have come on and they'll be lucky in our climate to both fruit and ripen in time before we're into the depths of autumn and winter. So here we go, first cut. I'm going to take out this plant just below well actually I'm going to take all of that bit out there which seems a little drastic after I've nurtured these plants from seed and prayed that they grow but as you see there there's quite a few stems coming and there's a good old side truss coming there um, and this plant was getting really quite strong as it reached for the sky but what we have still got is one vine right at the top there uh, with some tomatoes already forming and hopefully we might get those to fruit and ripen now that we've taken the top out and it stops putting its energy into growing up towards the sky. So the next job I'm going to do is remove some of these lower leaves off these tomato plants. Now the reason that I'm doing that is, is two reasons really. One, to let more light into these tomatoes that are already forming and so the sunlight ripens them. And the other reason is, as you can see, some of these leaves are looking a little bit sad and a little bit yellow. And so we need to remove those, which improves the air circulation both in the greenhouse and around the plant which helps reduce the likelihood of tomato blight. So what I will do is remove quite a few of these lower leaves and it looks quite drastic at times uh, because the plants suddenly look from looking quite lush and green they go to looking quite stick thin uh, with just the central stem and the tomatoes but it's the best for the tomato plant and it means that we hopefully get a good ripe harvest of tomatoes and as you'll see we've got some tomatoes here that are starting to ripen and these are the first of the season and I can never resist but to try the first tomato off the vine slightly warm Mm. makes all that effort and all the time that you put into growing these plants really worthwhile. So as we're doing this task as you'll see I'm keeping an eye out for any side shoots that are coming up and if you click on the link above you'll see uh, my other video where I talk more in depth about removing side shoots but this one here is a great example so there's your there's your leaf shoot there's the central stem and that's the side shoot and that just needs quickly removing so I never take all of the leaves off as you'll see I've left some of the upper leaves on there and what I'll do is slowly over the next few weeks I'll just keep removing an odd, an odd one uh, just to keep the air circulation and to just let the light into all of the tomatoes that are already forming. Uh, but I do like to leave some of the leaf and some of the foliage on the plants at this stage. So there we have it. I hope you like this video and if you did I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up below and even more than that if you could subscribe to my channel that makes it all worthwhile. 
Thanks for watching.